So let me tell you about dry bod just for a few minutes here. Number one, I'm gonna show why I have it. Number two, what it does and how it operates. You can see here this engine build is very unique color. It's called Tequila Sunrise. It's a Cerakote coating. I take a lot of pride in this build and I'm looking forward to put lots of hours over hopefully several years on this aircraft. And I wanna reduce the condensation any humidity that I can inside the crankcase in between long periods, unfortunate, of not flying. So the DryBot is from RPX Technologies. They're also the makers of DynaVibe, which I've used before in the past. The DryBot dehydrates your aircraft engine and reduces engine corrosion over time, especially on the camshaft inside the crankcase. So what does this mean for you in saving money? It can extend the time between overhauls and increase engine reliability. The DryBot is fully automated, and honestly, ever since I have plugged it in, it has been completely, completely trouble-free. It has a light there, it lets you know if there's an issue, it comes up, but only lights that I have seen has been obviously the power and the regeneration light. And I've caught it here in between that cycle before. I'll show you what it sounds like, what it looks like. If you know somebody that don't fly their aircraft as much as they'd like to, let them know the importance of this and how I can save them money, but also when they go to sell the aircraft. If an aircraft has been sitting for a long time, it might warrant removing a cylinder to confirm the camshaft is not rusted, pitted, and gonna need an overhaul. If you can get over that hurdle, you can help sell the aircraft at what you're asking for. Unfortunately, if something is found on the cramshaft that warrants the overhaul, the splitting of the case, number one, the aircraft, you're either gonna lose the sale on the aircraft, or two, the price is gonna be substantially less. So I really hope this video has been very informative to you, and if you have any questions, drop those below in the comments. Till next time, you guys stay safe, be blessed. I will see you in the next one, later.